Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be talking about Azure Disk Encryption. So let's go ahead and start. So let's start with the definition of what uh, Azure Disk Encryption is. So basically, it's a security feature in Azure that allows you to encrypt the data on your uh, Azure Virtual Machine disks to protect from unauthorized access. So let's go ahead and see how this is done. So in this case, I have created a separate resource group, which is uh, Disk Encryption RG. So to create this resource group, you can just click Create here and you can just uh, select the relevant region and add the relevant name so once that is done uh, inside this resource group i have added uh, the resources so let me show you how this is done so initially i have uh, created my virtual machine with the virtual network so for that go ahead and uh, just click create and here search for uh, virtual machine and uh, click create and uh, just add appropriate name for this uh, virtual machine which is vm1 or vm2 and make sure it's in the same region which is uh, east us so once it is done uh, select the appropriate uh, uh, image that you want in this case let's go ahead and uh, select uh, 19 and add the username and password so once it is done uh, you can just check the networking our vnetis has been created as well so and the tests so we'll be talking about these tests uh, just in a few seconds. So just go ahead and review and create for this. So once you review and create it, how you will get error because uh, we have not added our username and password. So let me show you how this is done. Click OK. And let me go to the resource group, disk encryption. And if you see, these are the different resources that has been created, right? So if I go to the resource visualizer, so this is our VM that we have created and this is our disk. So initially, whenever you create your, uh, you know, uh, this architecture, it will be not linked to your key vault. So here we have to add the key vault, uh, which we'll be talking a bit. So it will be like uh, in this way, like it will be totally, uh, you know, uh, not attached to your VM. So we have to make sure that it attached to VM using a uh, key vault. So let's see how that is done. So let's go ahead and click overview and before that let's check our VM1 and let's uh, check our disks. So you see uh, we have our disk here in this case uh, coming to encryption here initially there will be only these two which is SSE with PMK. So we are adding an additional layer here which is ADE which is nothing but Azure disk encryption. So coming to SSE and PMK so what are they? So SSE and PMK in disks in Azure uh, virtual machines refer to encryption of uh, data disks using uh, storage service encryption SSE and customer managed key which is PMK. So that is what uh, SSE and PMK means. So when SSE with uh, PMK is used for disks in Azure virtual machines, the data on the disks is encrypted using SSE, but the encryption keys are managed by the customers using PMK. So this provides an additional layer of security and control over encryption of data on the disks. So that is what uh, it refers to. And uh, you can see the storage type and everything uh, which uh, has been selected. And uh, coming to the host uh, uh, cache. So you can see uh, here we have uh, different options. Uh, none, read only, uh, read write. So basically if you talk about the first one which is read only. So this type of caching is used for data disks that uh, contains read-only data such as operating system files. So when read-only cache is enabled, the data is cached in uh, host memory for faster access. On the other hand, if we talk about read-write caching, uh, this type of uh, cache is used for data disks that contains uh, uh, frequent updated data such as database files. So when read-only, uh, when read and write cache is enabled, Data is cached in a host memory for faster access and write operations are also cached to improve the performance. However, write operations are not immediately uh, persisted to the disks, which means that uh, there is a risk of data loss uh, if the host machine fails uh, before the data is written to the disk. So that is the difference between these two, read or uh, read write as well as read only. So that is what it is. So here we have to go to the additional settings so here you can see uh, this ultra disk and encryption at host are disabled. So uh, if you want to enable this, you have to stop this virtual machine. So whenever you stop this virtual machine, you can uh, you know change accordingly based on your requirements. 
So coming to the encryption uh, settings, so you can see uh, Azure uh, Disk Encryption provides a volume encryption for OS and uh, data disks. So Azure Disk Encryption is uh, integrated with Azure Key Vault to help manage encryption keys. As prerequisite, uh, you will need to have uh, existing Key Vault with encryption uh, permission set or additional security you can create, choose a uh, optional key uh, encryption key uh, to protect the secret. So let's go back here and let's try to create a key vault. So for that, let's uh, click create and search for key vault. There you go. So this is the key vault. So just go ahead and uh, create. And uh, it's in the same resource group East US and uh, let's add it as uh, So it's done. Uh, so here, uh, the one uh, thing that you have to do is uh, you have to go to the next one, which is access policies, and make sure that the resource access is set to you know Azure Disk Encryption for uh, volume encryption. So you have to select this and then review and create it. So uh, you have to not forget that because only when you select this, you'll be getting access to uh, you know uh, these features. So once it is done, you can just re uh, review and create it. So if I go back again, uh, if I select my uh, VM and if I select uh, disks and go to the additional settings. So whenever you create your key vault, uh, you will be seeing an option here. You can se uh, select the key vault accordingly and you can, uh, you know, disks to encrypt. So based on uh, your requirements, you can add OS disks or uh, OS and uh, data disks. So based on your interest, you can just uh, create it. So select the appropriate key and since I already created a key, I was able to see the key uh, or else if there is no key, you can just create it. So sometimes you may get error here uh, because I have faced that. So that is the reason uh, you may face too. So let me show you how uh, to solve this. If you don't want to create a new here, you can directly go to your key vault and uh, here you can see under objects, we have an option called keys. So let uh, keep that keys and you can generate here. So you can just add uh, key one and uh, just add accordingly. So basically if you see here RS and EC, uh, these are uh, two different uh, types of encryption algorithms that are used to secure the data in the key vault. And uh, according to the size, you can just uh, select and just create it. So it will be done. And uh, once it is created, you can directly select it uh, from your uh, VM. So you can just go to the disks and uh, additional and uh, just click uh, the one that you have created and uh, you can see the version it will be by default available and you can just click that so once this is done it will be encrypted so initially uh, initially only these two will be available for the encryption but whenever you uh, apply uh, ADE it will be also available here so this is how you have to configure and uh, if you check our uh, resource uh, visualizer you can see uh, it's encrypted using the key vault. So this is how uh, you should uh, perform. So coming to this video, I hope you guys understood the concept of today's video. If you have liked the video, please click the like button below. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video. Thanks everyone.